and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, as you can probably tell by the title of today's video, is basically going to be a super drug haul for all of you guys. If you've been watching my weekly vlogs lately, then you will know that I'm basically going away again soon. And I mean, I needed to grab a few bits for it. Now, obviously, in this haul, there are some bits that I obviously need to take away with me. But there are some kind of bits and bobs that I just kind of needed for kind of like everyday kind of life. So it is a bit of a kind of mix and match kind of super drug haul. But I mean, I thought I might as well show you what I got and just kind of do a little bit of a kind of super drug haul for all of you. So yeah, that is basically what today's video is going to be about. So I mean, I'll stop rambling on and let's just get straight into the haul, guys. Before I kind of show you the first kind of item that I'm going to be showing in today's haul, I just thought I'd let you all know that in case any of you see anything in today's haul that you actually kind of like or you'd like to try, then everything that I actually actually show in today's haul we will be linked in the description box down below so I mean if you see anything in today's haul that you like and you fancy then just check out down below because I mean it'll all be linked down there like I just said and the first item that I actually picked up is something that I have actually tried before and they were actually really really good and I've run out so I've decided to get some new ones and that is the be your I mean do excuse my pronunciation I mean if you're new here then hi, I'm KD and I am actually dyslexic, so I mean my pronunciation isn't the best, but I mean I'm giving it a good go for you all. It's the Bior Charcoal kind of no strips. It says that they're six deep cleansing charcoal pore strips. God, I don't know why I find that so hard to say then. And it says it draws out excess oil with natural charcoal. And they just kind of look like this. Now these can be slightly painful, I mean if you leave them on slightly too long, but I mean if you leave them on for like the correct time then I mean they can be a bit sore to pull off, but nine times out of ten whenever I kind of like rip them off my nose there is always something underneath it no matter how many masks or whatever you kind of do however much you exfoliate or cleanse your skin I always find that whenever I do these there's just kind of little bits that come off that I always tend to either miss or just like the kind of like washes can't actually get to but yeah I would definitely recommend checking these out and giving them a go if you haven't already or if you haven't tried any of them they do actually do another one of these that haven't got child one I think they're less kind of painful but I do know that the charcoal ones for me personally do work a lot better than the ones that are without charcoal at all. I don't know if it's because they're black strips you can kind of see what's coming out more than the other ones. I mean I think they're literally the same price and um, the ones that aren't charcoal. I don't think there's like any kind of difference in price or anything like that. And yeah like I said I have actually tried these before and these are just kind of like a replacement because I'd run out. But you do actually get six in here if you couldn't see. I'm sure you probably could. But you get six strips and I tend to do one like once a week or something like that. So I mean they do last six weeks. I mean obviously they last six weeks if there's six in here and I do it one a week. But yeah that is the first item that I picked up anyway. Now the second item that I picked up was again one that I tend to use day to day but I'm just kind of running low on and I mean this is kind of something that you can't really run out of and it is just some deodorant. Now I always 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 tend to get the Sure Motion Sense Invisible Pure 48 hour anti white mark deodorant and it just kind of looks like this. Now you can actually get this in a lot of kind of different sizes but I just picked up the one that is 250 millilitres. I know you can definitely get like smaller ones, but I mean, like I said, I am going away soon. I mean, I definitely needed to bring some new deodorant with me. Just because, I mean, although this does say that it lasts 48 hours, I do put it on every day just because, I mean, I shower every day and I mean, I'm definitely going to end up washing it off. So, I mean, this is definitely one that I use every day. Just because for me, personally, I hate not feeling clean. So, I mean, I do actually use this every day, even though it does say you can use it every 48 hours. But yeah, that is the next thing that I actually picked up from in there. Now, the next two items that I actually picked up are ones I don't tend to use that often. And I mean, I have actually tried this brand before, but I don't actually know if I've tried it, these particular ones. For any of you that have been watching my channel for a while now, then you will probably know that nine times out of 10, or pretty, yeah, nine times out of 10, basically. I tend to use Dove shampoo and conditioner, just because, I mean, that for me personally is the one that I have found that does wonders for my hair, and I just love the smell of it. But for some reason, in the Superdrug that I went to, I mean, I'm not entirely sure if Superdrug actually sell it, because nine times out of 10, I end up getting it in boots, but, I mean, I went into Superdrug, because, I mean, it was on the little retail park thing that I actually went to the other day, and I thought, Do you know what, let's just go in there and grab some bits instead of kind of going to boots. So, I mean, yeah, I'm not entirely sure if Superdrug actually stocked Dove. Or whether this particular Superdrug that I went to just doesn't tend to stock it. But, I mean, there was none in there. So, I decided to grab some Aussie shampoo and conditioner. Like I said, I have actually tried Aussie in the past. But, I'm not entirely sure if I've tried this one. So, this is Shampoo Mega. And, it says it's for everyday cleaning. That's not so everyday. And, it's obviously with Australian Kangaroo Pan. 
does it say? And flower extracts. Now, I mean, I'm sure you'll be able to see it if you can kind of see. I mean, it does look like it's focused. So, I mean, hopefully you can. But that is basically the shampoo that I picked up. And then I just picked up the matching conditioner for it. So, yeah, I'm sure these are going to be ideal for going away. The shampoo is 300 millimetres, millimetres, millilitres. And the conditioner is 250 millilitres. So, I mean, they're perfect kind of like um, sizes if you're going away for a week or something like that. Which is exactly what I'm going away for. Just because, I mean, when I'm away, I do tend to wash my hair way more than I do when I'm in the UK. Just because, I mean, I don't know, I find the sun and sun cream and things like that just make my hair go a lot greasy a lot quicker so I mean I do tend to use shampoo and conditioner a lot more when I'm away so I actually think that these two are going to be perfect for that and yeah like I said I needed some shampoo and conditioner and I mean do you know what I thought I might as well try this one I do remember the last Aussie one that I tried did actually smell really nice I mean it is a little bit more expensive than the Dove one that I normally get but I mean hopefully when I'm away it's going to do my hair wonders and I mean yeah I'll let you know what I think about this shampoo and conditioner in my weekly vlogs as to what I actually think of the shampoo and conditioner because I can't remember if it was this one that I tried because when I was in there they do like loads of different um, shampoo and conditioners so I mean yeah I'll let you know what I think of this one but I mean it sounds very good so I mean hopefully it will do wonders on my hair but yeah they are the next items that I actually picked up while I was in there. Sticking with the kind of hair theme the next thing that I actually picked up was some heat defense and I mean I didn't really want to put a used one in my case just in case it kind of leaked everywhere oh my god what happened to my voice and my voice went but yeah I actually picked up some Tresemme heat protection spray and it says it protects up to 230 degrees now I mean obviously I am going away and I probably won't be hair drying in my hair because I mean the heat just tends to dry a lot quicker and a lot kind of less hot for me personally so I mean I do tend to let my hair dry naturally when I'm on holiday but sometimes I do still use like straighteners and things like that just because I mean I don't know I just like to mix up my hairstyle every now and then so I thought I'd take this just in case I decide to straighten my hair while I'm away so yeah it's pretty self-explanatory really so yeah this is actually the one that I picked up like I said I have used it before and I have found that this is kind of like not one of those sticky um, kind of heat defences. So yeah, I did actually pick this one up while I was in there. And yeah, I definitely recommend it again. Because I mean, it is the one I use all the, all the time. And I just kind of replaced it really. But the next thing that I picked up was some um, cleansing shower gel. Now, I haven't actually tried this one before. It does say it's new. But I mean, at 9 times out of 10, whenever I get kind of shower gel or shower cream, I always get one that has a kind of coconutty scent, just because, I mean, I personally really, really love the smell of that. But I mean, I didn't really see one in there that, I mean, caught my eye. But I did see that this one is new. It doesn't have any coconut in it, which, I mean, you're probably going to be surprised about seeing as I've just said that I absolutely love it, which I actually do. But this one is a new clay fresh and it's ginger and basil scent. It says it's with clay of natural origin, pure soft skin. So I mean it literally it just looks like this. It is from Nivigo. It was an offer when I was in there. I'm sure it was literally like a pound or something like that. It really wasn't expensive whatsoever. And this is a 250 milliliter um size in case any of you are wondering. But yeah, it does say it's new. And I mean because it's clay, anything with clay in it is normally pretty good for your skin as far as i'm aware and on the back it does say it's a non-drying shower gel so i mean i assume that means like it's not going to dry your skin out or anything like that even though it's got clay in so yeah i'll let you know again what this one kind of smells like i don't know if you're going to be able to see but it is kind of just like a green kind of look inside which i mean it does actually show on the um packaging that it's going to be clay fresh but yeah it is actually a green um shower gel so i mean i'm not entirely sure how this one's going to turn out hopefully i don't end up like stained in green or anything like that i mean i'm sure i won't but yeah this is just the one that i actually picked up because my coconut one that i normally get wasn't in there but yeah even though it does say ginger and a basil scent i mean i couldn't really overly smell it like it doesn't smell like pasta or anything like that like I don't know if it's menu but that's what I thought it'd taste like taste like that's what I thought it'd smell like when it said ginger and basil but I smell it, it doesn't really taste like my pasta does anyway I mean maybe I put a little bit too much sauce on my pasta but I mean just in case any of you are wondering you're not gonna walking around smelling like that pasta not that I ever put ginger on my pasta it's normal I think it's tomato and basil isn't it not ginger and basil so I mean I don't really know why I thought I'd smell like pasta anyway but I mean I think it's just the basil that made me kind of think of it because I mean I definitely don't put ginger on my pasta but anyway that is the kind of shower gel that I picked up while I was in there 
The next thing that I actually picked up while I was in there is just some toothpaste. Now it is actually just the Colgate um, Total Original. This is just the toothpaste that I tend to use on the kind of everyday basis. But I mean, in case you haven't gathered by now, I am going away funnily enough. I don't really know if I mentioned it throughout this video enough. But yeah, I basically just needed a new toothpaste. I know you said toothbrush then. Obviously I don't need a new toothbrush because I mean, my one's electric and I think I changed the... Um, brush thing on it every couple of months but I did need a new toothpaste so this is the one that I actually picked up just because I mean like I said it's the one that I nine times out of ten always tend to get and yeah so that was the toothpaste that I picked up while I was in there and then along the same kind of lines as toothpaste I did actually pick up some mouthwash this is the Colgate Plax Cool Mint mouthwash and I mean it just kind of looks like this now this was actually the smaller size one that I picked up I picked up a 250 milliliter one just because I mean I didn't really need like a family size one because I mean it's only going to go in my room my whole family isn't going to end up using it again it is the one that I always tend to use but I mean it does actually taste not obviously you don't swallow it but I mean it does actually taste quite nice because some mouthwash I actually find can be quite harsh on the inside of my mouth this is literally one of the only ones I don't actually find is too kind of strong and harsh but yeah there's not a great deal else i can say about this but that is the uh, mouthwash that i picked up while i was in there and then i did actually decide to pick up some new nail varnishes while i was in there now i'm sure these were on three for two or buy two get one three which is basically three for two anyway because i mean i did actually pick up three of them so i mean it wouldn't make any sense why i'd pick up three if they weren't on some kind of offer like that but they are actually the orly nail varnish now to be honest with you i haven't actually tried any of these nail varnishes before nine times out of ten i pick up essie nail varnishes but i mean again they wasn't in this super drug and do you know what there wasn't a lot in this super drug but it was a really big super drug so i mean they had a lot of brands that isn't in the other super drug that i go to i mean like i said i did decide to pick up these nail varnishes anyway now i'm sure they're pronounced orly but the first shade that i picked up was trendy and it's just a kind of really kind of nice pink shade i don't really know if it's going to focus for you there you go it's just a really kind of nice pink shade and it does actually look like it's got a little bit of a kind of shimmer inside of the kind of color i mean hopefully that makes sense for you but it doesn't look like it's completely just like a pinky corally kind of color it does actually look like these like little glitter bits of inside of it and then the second one that i actually picked up again is orly because i mean they were the brand that was on a free for two or i don't know if it's going to focus for you there you go this is the second color that i picked up and as you can probably see it's got like little bits inside of it and i just thought it'd be kind of really kind of nice if you was going to do like a kind of effect now or something like that so that was the second color they actually picked up and then the final colour they actually picked up is Orly and it says FX on it. Now the others didn't say FX so I'm not entirely sure what the difference is. But the last colour is just this kind of silver glitter colour. And again I thought you could either kind of paint all your nails this kind of glitter colour if it's like Christmas or something like that. But you could probably use this as a kind of like an effect now again. Just because I mean I, mean, I didn't really know how this effect one was going to come out. So I decided to pick up this one as well just in case. I mean I'm sure they'll be pretty good because I mean they're quite, they're not like really really expensive nail varnishes. But they're like a lot more expensive than some of the other kind of nail varnishes that were in Superdrug. So I mean hopefully they're going to be really really good. I'm not entirely sure what they're going to come out like but I mean I've got kind of high hopes for them just because I mean they feel like they're going to be um really really good even the kind of lids on these are kind of like rubber so it doesn't feel like your hand is going to like slide off like they're not slippery lids or anything like that which I mean obviously when you can kind of get some other nail varnishes they don't have the kind of like rubber grips on the top like these ones do so i mean hopefully they're going to be really really good but i mean we're just going to have to wait and see how they come out but yeah they are basically the free nail varnishes that i picked up while i was in there now the next item that i actually picked up while i was in there is the new pure clay detox wash by l'oreal paris it does actually say that it cleanses clarifies and detoxifies skin it says it's got a free pure clays and charcoal and it does actually say it was tested under dermatological control now you do actually get 150 milliliters of this and do you know what i haven't actually tried this before and i decided to pick it up because i mean it sounded pretty good i mean i thought i'd pick it up and give it a go and it does actually say you can use it in morning and evening is it applied to wet flakes wet face apply it to wet face and delicately massage in small circular motions focusing on the forehead nose and a chin 
Rinse off with water, avoid the eyes area, only suitable for external use, suitable for all skin types. So I mean, no wonder whatever your skin type is, apparently this is going to do wonders for your skin. And like it says, you can use it in the morning and evening, which you know what, 9 times out of 10, whenever I kind of wash my face, I always kind of wash my face in the morning and then obviously I wash it in the evening as well just to kind of, especially if I'm wearing makeup, I do like a proper kind of exfoliate and cleanse just to make sure that it's kind of all out of my skin. Just because I mean we all probably know that wearing makeup in the day is really really bad for your skin if you like sleep in it overnight. So yeah I always tend to wash it off so I thought I'd give this one a go and again it's kind of like in a really kind of thin tube so I mean I thought it'd be perfect just to kind of like take away. Obviously it is over the kind of 100 millilitres like hand baggage allowance so I mean it will have to obviously go in the hold um, case but I mean that doesn't really bother me I always tend to put all my kind of liquids in the kind of hold luggage anyway but yeah I thought this was actually really really good and yeah I just wanted to give it a go really just to see if it's kind of like any different or better than the ones that I currently use but yeah I do actually like to kind of mix up my face washes every kind of now and then just to make sure that my face isn't kind of getting used to one particular one and they're still kind of doing it's kind of a job if you kind of get what I mean. So yeah, I decided to pick this one up. And again, like I said, I've never actually used it before. It does say new. I'm not entirely sure how new it is. Because I mean, I know sometimes things like this can say new for quite a while. But I mean, I haven't actually tried it. So yeah, I will be sure to let you know in a weekly vlog coming soon if I kind of like it and my kind of thoughts on it because I mean like I said I haven't tried it before but I mean it does look like it's going to be quite good really so yeah that was the next item that I actually picked up while I was in there and then the last item that I actually picked up was one again that I've used before I think the first time I actually got this I got this in boots so I mean they do do it in boots and super drug but it is actually the Dove Derma Spa Cashier Comfort um, body butter now this one does say it's for very dry skin but I mean I don't actually have very dry skin but I just find that this one personally um just does the kind of best make my skin it feels super super soft and it does say it comes with cell moisturizers now this is basically what it looks like if you haven't kind of seen my boots haul because I mean this definitely featured in there but I just decided to pick a new one up just because I mean I am going away soon and again like I said I don't really want anything to kind of like be leaking in my case and going on my kind of clothes so because these are sealed when you buy them even though they've got a lid on if I just quickly show you but when you take the lid off they do actually have this kind of like tin foil um kind of thing over the kind of um product so I mean obviously the moisturizer isn't going to leak or the body butter isn't going to leak from kind of like underneath there because hopefully because it does have the second kind of like tin foil layer even if the lid kind of like comes off hopefully I mean I say this if the kind of actual tin explodes which I mean it probably won't hopefully the chances of it kind of leaking on my kind of clothes or anything else that's in there is a lot slimmer so yeah I decided to pick up a new one and yeah I absolutely love this like I said about a million and one times before but yeah I would definitely recommend this if any of you are kind of like got dry skin or have got skin that you just kind of like to make slightly softer but yeah that was basically the last item that I actually picked up from Superdrug obviously I have got quite a few items there but like I said all of the items that are featured in today's video will be linked in the description box in case any of you fancied checking any of them out at any point but yeah I really do hope you kind of all enjoyed watching at today's Superdrug haul like I said it is a little bit random there's a bit kind of like from all over the place obviously have a kind of mixture of items I actually picked up like all of them isn't obviously all hair care or things like that so yeah hopefully there was something in this haul that you kind of thought that you may fancy trying or something that you've tried before and you're like yeah but I really like that item too so yeah I suppose that kind of like rounds off today's super drug haul for all of you guys really so yeah I really do hope you enjoyed watching if you did then please be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already and do be sure to turn on the post notification bell button if you want to be the first to be notified as to when I upload next I am currently uploading twice a week at the moment which is obviously on a Wednesday and Sunday for any of you that are new here but yeah do be sure to also leave me a comment down below let me know what you kind of thought with today's haul because I mean I would love to know some of your thoughts and opinions really but yeah that's all for today guys really so until next time see ya